of this project is to invite kids to think deeply about good learning and what good learning looks like. The project has involved giving from this group of year 10 students a series of education experiences that are all inquiry based, open ended, involve asking deep questions and drawing their own conclusions. This project began with some initial fact-finding sessions with me. My background is in philosophy, so I was gently introducing these students to philosophical questions and how those questions can be employed by learners. After those initial sessions, it turned out that this group of students needed some practical activity to embed these different philosophical questions and issues in. So then we began a programme of exposing them to a range of different inquiry-based learning experiences. The first of them was a day with forestry school practitioners um, and that day took place out of school in some woodland nearby barns. They took a bus under the premise of setting off the school trip and on the bus a fictional scenario that we had planned and started to unravel. I'm very sorry, um, my name is Norman Graves and I'm from the government's DCP department, that is disease control and prevention, excuse me. What's going on? I don't... Look, we've had an outbreak of bus. scalaria. Um, I'm not sure, scalaria is quite a serious disease and um, it's throughout the South Yorkshire area. You are currently a danger to the rest of the society. No, we need to have go a word back. off the bus, it's well, not in front of the people. Well, it's, but no one can come off. I just need to people find need to out a bit more about The children need to stay on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> is it? Is it real? Get your bags and stuff. In the woods they met some forestry school practitioners who helped them to engage with loads of practical activities, really good for hands-on learners. They built shelters, they built stretchers, they cooked their own dinner. Um, and while all this was going on, we engaged the learners in philosophical dialogue around a central theme, and the theme for the day was the concept of freedom. The initial experience was to win students over, and then a few weeks later we began an intensive week of work with a series of different practitioners. The first experience was with a professional forensic investigator um, who'd worked on a New York River case, and he set up a scenario for the students where they'd been aggravated burglary at school, and the students were left with evidence, um, lots of opportunities to explore things using the methodology that forensic investigators would use. That day culminated in a mock court case where all the children had roles and the evidence was presented and it was an opportunity for children to work in an open-ended way to draw on evidence and then to see how the evidence would come to bear in a real situation using the role play. The second learning experience was an opportunity for the students to work with a professional musician. They started to make rhythms and beats early on in the day and then the um, practitioner Andy built up their confidence and they moved on to songwriting and um, they wrote lyrics and eventually we produced three pieces of music at the end of the day. The third learning experience was with a professional photographer and the students had an opportunity to first engage with lots of quite hard-hitting, quite varied pictures and to respond to them. Um, they then went on to have complete free reign to take pictures with the guidance of someone with a photographer's eye. And students found it really satisfying to take pictures and then respond to advice and take better pictures. They also involved some studio photography where they got to use professional equipment and culminated in a cheat to do light graffiti where they took photographs with torches in the dark and that was really really nice. The fourth learning experience was an opportunity to work with drama practitioners um, to explore philosophical stimulus in role. So what was dramatised on that particular day was a thought experiment that comes from philosophy. The learners had an opportunity to really explore all the different stakeholders in that scenario through drama. The students had an opportunity for the first time really to get the teeth stuck into moral dilemmas and to really start relativizing their views. The final learning experience with practitioner Mark was um, a bit of a risk. So Mark has worked in theatre for a long time but he's also done planning and improvisation. So he decided whether we could push our students to work without any parameters. We 
played some games and we broke them in a little bit and got them sort of settled and comfortable. And then they were told that by the end of the day they could do something. And, but they weren't told that that would be some time. So this last day was probably quite scary for some of the students. It was a chance for them to work with complete creative free reign. During this entire process, everything was documented by a filmmaker. The idea was that the filmmaker, Dave, would capture what's and all um, so that the learners would have a realistic picture of what's happened to look back on. So the students had another dedicated week to reflect on what had happened and then respond to it. So the first two days of the reflection week, we took each of the learning experiences in turn, so to address them um, in chronological order, and watched some clips of them working together as a team, um, some clips of them learning or not not learning and kind of misbehaving and not listening, as well as some clips of just the day itself to refresh their memories of what happened because it was a couple of weeks before. As they were watching themselves, we set them different tasks like analytical questions and then hot seating people who were in the questions or recreating moments and seeing how we could have done it differently. So the final thing the students have to do is plan and run a session for the year seven students. So first of all, we wanted to get their creative juices flowing. So we ran a day of brainstorms. They uh, thought about what it was like to be a year seven. They thought about the opposite of what a good session would be to just get their heads around what they're trying to avoid. One of the purposes of asking them to deliver to year seven is for them to communicate what their vision of good learning looks like. But another purpose is for them to get this empathy that you're talking about, to achieve some empathy into what it's like to be one of their teachers. This has been a really satisfying project to work on. At the beginning I met 20 or so students, some of whom weren't brought into this process at all. We haven't taken all of them with us, some haven't made it to the end, but the ones who have, I've seen enormous leaps in maturity. I've seen their ability to analyse co complex abstract ideas like learning, like the purpose of education, and also to manage their behaviour and to pull it out of the bag and do some really hard work. So this project's placed some quite high demands on them. The year 10s are working on this project alongside their commitments for their GCSEs and they've made rearrangements, given up their free time and to think really deeply about their own learning and I've no doubt that that'll have an impact on their confidence and their learning in the future.